hello coders i hope you are coding well in the previous video we created the review entity and get ordered products by order api in our spring boot application and in today's video we will call this get ordered products api and we will show it to the user and after that we will create the component to review the product so let's get started in our angular application we need to create a new component and we can open our customers modules and we can open this components folder in the new integrated terminal and here we will give the command to create the component which is ng g for generate c for component and we can name this component as view ordered products and as you can see our component is ready now let's go to the routing file of our customer module and here we will create the route for the new component and we can duplicate our my orders route and for the path we need to update it ordered underscore products and then we need to get a variable which is order id and for that we need to mention here order id and then for the component we will update it to view ordered products component now let's save this routing file and let's go to my orders component and here we will open the html file and in the action column we need to show a button to navigate the user to view ordered products so for that we can write a span tag and for this span tag we need to add one ng if condition and we will write if my order dot status is equals to delivered then only we will show this button and after this we will add a button tag and for the text we will set it as review and for the router we will set customer slash ordered products and then we will pass the id of the order now let's save this file and let's open our services folder and in our customer service we need to create the api call and we can duplicate our existing get orders by user id api and we need to update the method name to get ordered products and in the params we will mention order id of type number and we can remove this user id and for the path we will update it and we will replace the my orders to ordered products and then instead of user id we will pass the order id from the params our get order products api call is completed now let's save this file now let's go to our newly created view ordered products component and here we need to create the constructor and in the constructor first of all we need to inject the activated route so we can get the order id from the url and after this we will inject our customer service and let's import all of these here and then we need to get the order id from the url and for that we will create a variable and we will call our activated route dot snapshot and then we will access the params and we will mention order id in it and after this we need to create a variable to store the response from the api and we can name this variable as ordered product details list and we can initialize it with an empty array and then we need to create another variable for the total amount now let's create a method here and in this method we will call our api and we will use this dot customer service dot get ordered products and in the params we will pass the order id and then we will subscribe the response and we will write the arrow function and in the body of this method we need to access the response and from the response we need to access the product dto list and then we need to apply the for each loop on this list and we can remove this array keyword and in the body of this for each loop we will set the processed image in the element and then we will concatenate the string which is used to preview the image 
and then we will concatenate with element dot byte image after this we will push our element to the variable which is ordered products details list and we will use dot push method and here we will pass the element and at the end we need to set the value in our total amount variable and we can write here res dot order amount our method is completed now let's write the ng on init method and in this method we will call our get ordered products details by order id now let's save this file and let's go to the html file and in this html file we will write a div tag and we will give it a class of ordered product container and in this div tag we will create an other tag and we will write the for loop and we will use our ordered products details list in this for loop in this div let's create another tag and let's give it a class of product info and in the product info first of all we need to show the image of the product so we can write an image tag and in the source i am binding product dot processed image after this we will create another div and we will give it a class of product details and in the product details we will write the divs and we will show the product name product price and product quantity and after the product details we will add a button for the review so user can click on this button to review the each product and in the router link we will pass customer slash review and then we will pass the product id we don't have uh, this component right now but we will create later in this video and at the end we need to create another div and we will show the total amount of the order now let's save our html file and let's go to the css file and here i will paste the code for the css you can pause the video and copy the code or you can give your own styling to the page now let's save this file and let's run our application and as you can see our application is up without any errors now let's go to the browser and let's validate the functionality of our ordered products page after adding the login details we can click on this login button and here we need to click on this orders button and you can see we can't see the button to the review so let's go back to our angular application and to fix this we need to update the status to order status and let's save our file and let's go to the browser and you can see now we have the button for the review now let's click on this button and you can see here we are getting the products and we can see the total as well and we can see a button to review the product now let's go back to our vs code and here we need to open our components folder in the integrated terminal and here we will give the command to create the review ordered product component where we will get the review of the product from the user and to do that we will give the command which is ng g for generate c for component and we will name this component as review ordered product and you can see our component is ready now let's open our customer routing and here we will duplicate our existing ordered products route and for the path we need to update it to review and in the path variable we will get the product id and for the component we will update it to review ordered product component now let's save this and let's go back to our browser and let's click on this give review button and you can see we got redirected to our review ordered products page and that's it for this video in the next video we will create the api to post the review